Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. Going to be doing something a little bit different today because Corsair come to me recently and asked for a bit of help coming up with ideas on how they could possibly improve the package that they send out with the H100. So I've put together a little bundle I think anyone could put together to improve the performance of their H100. Should fit in tiny cases, should not really make a lot of noise, should be pretty simple to do. I think it's something that everyone will start considering doing. And what we're gonna do is fit 40, put high performance edition SP120s to the H100. And by that, I mean we're gonna have, where you'd normally have like push pull, where you'd have four fans, so two on one side and two on the other, we're gonna have push, 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 pull, 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 pull. And that'll mean that we've got 10 fans on each bank, so 20 fans each side and 40 in total. So this is just my tiny little guide, not that you're really gonna need it because it's a pretty simple thing to do, um, for all of you out there that may wanna increase your performance a tiny little bit. So, main things that you're gonna need. First of all, the thread on the, um, uh, the H100 where you screw the bolts into is 632. Now, I found it incredibly difficult to get 632 uh, threaded bar. So uh, I've got M3 threaded bar, but I'll show you how you can use that. And then you've also got to consider power in all these things. So thanks to the boys at Acutuning. In fact, you can post underneath. Thanks, Pascal, at Acutuning. Um, I've got a selection of these um, Phobia fan extensions. And basically, they can be daisy chained together and they've got four fan connectors on each. So I've got 10 of those, because obviously we need to power 10 fans. Uh, 10 of those, 40 fans, four in each, 40. So there we go. So today is gonna to be uh, uh, just a quick two minute video of me showing you how to get all these on. I'm just a little bit worried about uh, the, the rubbish men trying to take all these boxes away afterwards. But getting my uh, trusty remote out of my pocket, what I'm going to do is uh, break down now and then we'll start uh, doing some work on the H100. Right then, obviously uh, for this many fans we do need to make a few minor adjustments. And as I said to you before, I, uh, I couldn't find any 632 bar so I bought M3 bar. Now the M3 bar does fit through the mounting holes that are in the H100 just about. Um, if we'd use M4 it wouldn't have fit at all and we would have had to have gone quite uh, against the pretty much tapped out these holes. So what we're doing is we're getting an M3 with a pair of angled um, fine nose pliers put going in behind. Now I'm trying to do this with my hands the wrong way around but and then we uh, we hold that in and we screw through. Now luckily Corsair when they built it the actual um, uh, water chambers behind do not line up with the threads so we can go into the fins a little bit and it's not too much of a problem. Now we've got that in. As you can see some of these are quite loose so we're going to give, have to give the fans a little bit of support. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get this side built up and then we're going to try and manoeuvre it so that I can uh, secure it with all of the fans on. Um, but that's that stage so what I'm going to do now is bung all the fans on, fix them up support it a bit and then I'll come back and show you it with the first 20 fans on it. Right then, we've got our first batch of fans on. Don't worry about this fan here because this is uh, from when I was using the H100 previously. What I need to do now is take the H100 off of this bracket and then fit the other fans. Obviously turn these ones round so that we've got a constant flow. Um, but yes, now we've uh, got all the fans on and it's all bolted up. It is very heavy, but uh, it's added a lot of weight. Whereas before, the fans were uh, warping quite a bit, going all over the place. Now they've got the, the bars in and they're all being held tightly together. They can hold themselves up quite easily. And this is going to help us when we move on to the, uh, the testing in a, a bit later on. And you'll see how I'm going to uh, have this so that we can have it all running. And also, with all these fans, make the cable tied in slightly easier as well. 
But as you can see, it's uh, although it is leaning because of the weight, if it was being held up properly, we'd be fine. I just need to get it, it that side of things all set up okay. And then what we're probably going to end up doing is uh, rotating the, the whole unit round. But we're a while off that yet. It's taken me, what's the time? It's taken me about three minutes to do that. <coughs> so uh, what we're going to do, or what I'm going to do, is uh, like I said, I'm now going to crack on with the other side of things, but I just wanted to give you a quick uh, pit stop so you can see the progress. Okay, another quick pit stop. I'll put the camera down a little bit. I've got uh, all the wiring in. As you can see, it's quite tidy, really. It's not a lot of cables there at all. There's only 20 fans that we've connected. Um, I've also just quickly put the... Um, uh, a bridge connector on the 24 pin so that we can test it. We've had our first injury as well. Screwdriver slippy accident. Yes, lovely. Um, so yeah, just wanted to see how quiet it was. So uh, I'm going to put the, fat, the microphone up here. You can hear me shout. I'm just going to turn power on. So yeah, quite quiet. Not bad, not bad. You'd never know it was on. So, that's uh, now officially the halfway point. Now I need to get cracking on the other side. Okay then, my beautiful people. As you can see, I have all 40 fans fitted. Woohoo! They're all on there. It's actually quite strong once it's all on there. You can pretty much move it about as one lump. And that's because we've obviously got it all really squeezed together. Um, now, we're still having to support it because there's still a, a fair bit of weight there. Uh, but I reckon you could probably easily get that on the top of your case. It wouldn't be a problem. Um, I reckon you could probably get a full system um, and this all in easily, easily in like a 300R or something. It's it really not that big. But anyway, I've still got the, uh, uh, the motherboard uh, kind of power off so we can bridge it just to give it a bit of a sound test because the other one I couldn't really hear the fans at all. So quiet. So I'm uh, going to give this one a try now. Can't hear that at all. Can't hear it, can you? Let's turn it off and turn it on again one more time because I really can't hear this. Don't forget to pay close attention to the actual fans and the, the unit itself. Right, I'm going to clip my mic on and I'm going to zoom you in so that you can see. <laughs> that part just there. Now watch when I turn it off and on. Can you see it moving? <laughs> It's having the same type of effect that uh, like an engine would inside of a car where the torque is making it all twist. That put a little bit of a smile on my face. But anyway, what I need to do now is um, get all of this uh, sorted, uh, get the keyboard put on, the monitor and everything, just so that we can give it a quick test, just to see uh, how good the temperatures are, and then we'll get it all wrapped up at the end. But I'm loving this, properly, properly loving it. Oh, time for coffee. Right then, so we're running our first batch of tests, or we're running our temperature tests rather. We've got all of the fans running on uh, 12 volts. Uh, so I'm all wired up directly and running at full speed. If I scroll over here, you can see the uh, overclock that we're running. 
Uh, it's running at 4.6 gigahertz. Um, it says 1.404 volts there, but we're actually running at 1.45 volts. There's a bit of a V droop going on with this. We've been running Prime for quite a while, as we always ever do. Uh, it's actually been running for more like an hour rather than 45 minutes. But the most surprising thing is that when we go over, first of all, what we'll do is we'll, you can see there that the temperatures are running, uh, or sorry, the CPU is running at 100%. And this is with hardware monitor, but then when we move up, the temperatures are absolutely bloody amazing. As you can see, uh, the value is on the left hand side, that's the current temperature, and then the maximum temperature is on the right hand side. So, if you have a look at the maximum temperature, we've got minus 10, minus 16, minus 19, minus 18, minus 11, and then minus 7 and then with the package roughly running on about minus 7 so the hottest core is a minus 7 so those fans are doing a absolutely ridiculously good job it's actually making the room cold i've got a hoodie on a hat gloves everything these fans are unbelievable and then look, look look you can see it's all still updating So you can see the temperatures are still updating there. It's all live, as you can see it. The fans are absolutely ridiculous. I've never ever had tests run like this. But then again, I've never put 40 fans on a H100 before. Um, so yeah, this is just completely and utterly bloody bonkers. I actually think what I'm going to do is leave all the fans now on the H100 and then whenever I do benching in the future I'm just going to just going to get that big block out um, and then attach it to the CPU you only really need to help keep the motherboard cool beyond this uh, help keep airflow and everything around it and it's absolutely un unreal absolutely blown away by this it's awesome uh, but what I'm going to do now because uh, uh, I'm going to stop the tests let everything thaw out a bit where everything's so cold uh, and then uh, we'll do a big conclusion and then a wrap up right at the very end. Right then peeps, so testing is complete. Obviously uh, it takes a while, you know, a few minutes to put the, uh, all the fans and everything together with the H100. But one of the bonuses of once you've done it is you get this amazing jewellery. And they go everywhere. Um, I think we could probably do a little bit more of it as well. I reckon I could probably end up making some like really wacky sunglasses and stuff and looking a bit like Elton John. But anyway, I'm happy with the earrings and the bracelets for now. I feel a bit like, uh, who was that wrestler that used to wear all the rings and shit on him? Anyway, right, so. <laughs> right, so. 40 fans on the H100. Who would have thought it would have been possible? Many people told me, you don't want to do it. It's going to take too long. It won't be very good. It won't be this. It won't be that. It'll be a pain in the bum. Didn't take very long. Doesn't take up very much room. It's really quiet. I can't even hear it running. All I can hear really, if I listen carefully, is... Yeah. Maybe just a little bit of the, um, the pump on the H100 or something. Really isn't very loud at all. So, doesn't take up much room, uh, doesn't really take long to do, doesn't really cost a lot either. Then you've got, obviously, it's something unique in your rig, although I can see loads of you wanting to do this now. Um, and the temps are amazing. It defies physics. It's just unbelievable. I mean, our hottest call was minus seven. I mean, it has to be about 20 degrees in this room. How does it do it? Absolutely chuffing bonkers. Um, so, my uh, advice would be, if you've got like five, ten minutes free on a Sunday afternoon and you fancy doing something different, why not give this a crack? And you end up with something that looks like a straight six on one of the old Jaguar cars. Um, it does look rather unique, uh, although I think I'm probably looking slightly more unique at the moment than the Age 100 does. But anyway, do you realise that's the first time I've laughed throughout the whole of this? Ah! Anyway, so... As you can see, Unreal Performance doesn't really take up a lot of room, is really, really quiet, it's probably accessible for everyone. As I said, you could probably end up shoehorning this in a 300R if you want to. Um, so yeah, there's nothing really bad to say about it, is it? So my advice for everyone is if you've got a H100, 
go and buy yourself 40 high performance Corsair SP120 fans and get them on there and see what you think. Anyway, <laughs> it's now time for me to go take my wonderful jewellery off because it's actually starting to chafe a little bit on my arms. But for now at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you. Out! Right, so <laughs> I thought I had better do a disclaimer at the end of the video. I'm gonna put this in at the end of all of the um, comments, uh, the comments at the end of the scroll and everything, because I already know that the comments are gonna be full up with people telling me that it's uh, what we've done today isn't possible and is pointless. Well, oh, quiet. That's kind of the point because it's just a bit of fun. Um, so uh, this is basically the reason why I'm gonna put it right at the end of the video is to see how many people think that we're actually being serious and that this isn't just a bit of fun. So all I would like to do is say thank you very much to uh, first of all AquaTuning for sending me the cables to wire this monster up because otherwise I was gonna end up having to spend a complete and utter fortune on uh, individual crappy cables off of eBay just to put these 40 fans in the rig and luckily Aquatune didn't come to my rescue. But most of all would be Corsair for basically just saying yes to any bonkers and stupid ideas I seem to come up with when it comes to making a video which is essentially a trolling video because this was just made for us, the subscribers, me, you, do you know what I mean, the general community to have a bit of fun with. But for now at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan, <laughs> finally, although I've now got to take this thing apart, uh, with another video for <laughs> you. Out. <laughs>